Hey, all my crafty friends. Who's ready to start some Christmas crafting? I know I am. I will be trying my best to put out at least four videos per week until Christmas, and I think you will love what I have in mind. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my Christmas videos. And if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, just hit the bell notification. Merry Christmas! In today's video, I will be making these cute little joy bottles that can be added to your Christmas decor or given as a gift. I will leave a link in the description below where you can purchase the complete set or just the pre-cut vinyl for this project. The items you will need for this project are three bottles painted white, two wide ribbon in the color and pattern of your choice, three some twine, and four a hot glue gun. I used one of the bottles to measure the ribbon and then cut four pieces of ribbon to that length. I was using a wired ribbon and I just didn't like the way the wire was laying on the bottle. So I simply pulled the wire out of the top and bottom of the ribbon. This made the ribbon easier to work with and fold the way I wanted around the bottle. I did this with all four ribbons that I had cut. I then placed the ribbon where I wanted it on the bottle. I folded down the edges of the ribbon and then used my trusty hot glue gun to glue it to the back. I did the same step with all three bottles. And this is how they looked after I added the ribbon. So now I had to cover up the top of the bottles. I used some twine from Dollar Tree and started just below the bottom lip of the bottle. I added a little hot glue and started wrapping the twine around until I would reached the top. When I got to the top, I added a little more hot glue and cut the twine off, pushing the tail of the twine into the hot glue. I continued doing this until all three bottles were completed. And this is what they look like. I used my Cricut and cut out the letters for joy using a Ray Dunn inspired font from Defont. I just love this font and try it on everything. I didn't use transfer paper. I simply pulled the letters off and placed them in the center of the ribbon on the front of the bottle. I wanted to make sure I was keeping the seam in the back. It was a little tricky applying the letters, but I think it would have been harder if I would have used transfer paper. After looking at the bottles, I decided to add some twine around the bottom portion of the bottles also. I started applying the twine right at the edge of the ribbon, making sure I started it on the back side of the bottle. I applied hot glue and wrapped the twine around until I got to the bottom of the bottle. To finish it off, I used some Christmas tree greenery from one of Dollar Tree's Christmas ornaments. I'm going to be using the ornament itself in another video, but I didn't need the greenery for what I have in mind. I picked where I wanted the items to go on the bottles and simply hot glued everything into place. And this is what the bottles look like after I completed them. They are ready to be added to some Christmas decor. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more Christmas videos and you know you don't want to miss any of them. If you want to be notified when I do upload a new video, just hit the bell notification. Merry Christmas, and as always, thanks for watching.